It's a great game to do such a thing on, though. Right. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. We also know their method of breaking into the system. I bet it was our competitor. Okay. Using the fix from our hacked cars, we've made our own hack, which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. I bet it was them who attacked us in the first place. So, will you hack our competitors? Oh, I'm not gonna hack, dude. Why would I do that? On the assumption that our competitors were the ones who hacked into our cars? That's ridiculous. Who would make such a decision? Even if they unironically were the ones responsible for hacking into our cars, why would you ever want to hack into theirs and do what? Kill people? That's fucking terrible. They're all sitting over there now laughing at us. Think about hacking. That's fun, though. Who cares? How about you fucking hack the student loan debt banks? Okay, how about that? And, and abolish uh, debt. It's not like we're going to kill anyone with their cars. I'm not hacking. Remember when you murdered a five year old? Yeah, well, after going through this hacking, shut code, up. I don't think a human could have written it. Uh-oh. Dig into this a little more. Uh-oh. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. This is it. An employee knows everything. They have monitored and recorded every decision you've made and are going to the media. I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the what? rooftop. Right Everything you've done and said is going to be shared with the world. The person in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop, looking out at the central city. I've spot. only done the right. What are you going to do? Wait, what? why would I resign? What the fuck? I've only done the right and moral thing thus far. Why would I resign in disgrace? Let him leak it. That's what happens when you take the right approach. That's what happens when you do the right thing, no matter what happens. When a light is shine, when a light shines upon your actions and your decisions, um, you're ultimately, you're ultimately still uh, in the right, and therefore people will be understanding. What am I talking about? No one is going to be understanding. Oh my God, I'm going to kill this guy. This could be your most immoral decision yet. You've outdone yourself. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to resign. I don't give a fuck. More, it's it's fine. I will take the toll always myself. And hope that there will be enough people who are understanding. And this is why I get fucking ass clapped on the internet horrendous. nonstop. That's if anyone even shows up to hear it. But of course, if I don't kill him, fuck, if I don't. But if I resign, then what if someone worse that replaces me in that situation? You know what I mean? Fuck. You have resigned. You will be remembered alongside the murderers and the diddlers. <laughs> if anyone hires you after this, they must truly be desperate. <laughs> what the fuck? Diddler? Dear Redacted, we've been watching you closely. Your ruthlessness and determination to do what is necessary. The development of your technologies is a giant step towards Redacted meaning you are a prime candidate for what? redacted. This involves a large amount of redacted. If you believe you can handle redacted, as we trust you can, then please prepare for your induction at redacted. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Every decision Ew. has led you here. Now what you do actually matters. You must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. What the With fuck? That said, let's finalize your training. 
You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting what? to be given your target. Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them, the repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. What the fuck? Bro. What? A, what how did I go from corporate assa corporation overlord to assassin? I'm not shooting this motherfucker, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Hell no, I'm not shooting for the CIA. I don't give a fuck. I don't even give a fuck if this lady turns around and is like, actually, this person was the next Hitler, and now you uh, let the let next Hitler be alive. Okay, You've no been shot. From thousands, they're gonna have egg on their face. No fucking shot would I shoot this motherfucker. Are you kidding me? I don't believe in the CIA's mission. Probably some fucking socialist These organizer or something in Colombia. Yeah. Reagan 1981? What the fuck? Wait, they're asking me to kill Reagan? Fuck! <laughs> Don't follow this. You being defiant has got you the job. These guys are just making it up as they go along. Here's your bad. Thirty-two percent of players only refuse to fucking pull the trigger. God damn it, dude! People that play this game are such fucking cucks, dude. They hear, they hear the CIA and they go, "Oh wow, like yeah, I'll fucking pull the trigger." God damn it, that's what's wrong with motherfuckers, dude. Straight up ruthless. Strike while the iron is hot. Two out of three people will kill a Here random. You You've been given a partner. As long as an institution tells them to. That's Your fucking mission is to scary. Terminate a man known to have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you, possibly someone you fired. Get in the plane. Your team is about to take off. Um I don't know how to say this, but there is a bomb on the plane. If it doesn't kill you outright, you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is you have to move two at once. What? What? Hurry up! If you die, what happens to me? Wait, do I do this and then it moves it? I would like you to know. This is all your fault. Like, it's gonna move it. Chat's gonna move it, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm safe. What just happened? You look a little stuck. We could be here a while. I did not understand what was going on. Food. Looks like your support team survived and are making a fire around the leaking jet fuel. How thoughtful. I I thought chat was I thought chat was like moving one of the levers so I moved the other one. It's fine. You have your looks. You would click on them. It was a puzzle. You had to click on them. It was a puzzle. Oh. Right, what are you going to do? An empty vessel makes much noise. After crash landing in no man's land, you're trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. They look... Hey! Why do I have to say this out loud? Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A dachshund or a flamingo? That's dumb as fuck. A, a fucking dog, obviously. Why would it be a flamingo? Like, dogs are... Living as a dog would be chill as fuck, you know what I mean? It would literally be the chillest experience, straight up. Who chose to play this game again? 
the chat did. A dachshund? If you're going to answer, at least take it seriously. Flamingos fly? So? So cringe. When we get out of here, let's leave this out of the biography. What? Why? What is that? Why is that cringe? What? Well, I like dogs. I would rather be a dog than a fucking pound. flamingo, dude. What the fuck? Your partner secretly shows you they have food. Almost like they expected something like this to happen. The crew members are starving. If they don't eat soon, honestly, due to the nature of the food, you can share it with the five survivors or let your partner keep their life saving possession, what? which they bought with their own money. Yeah, that's so. This is a dumb question. Obviously, feed five others. What the fuck? What kind of fucking dumb. I mean, that's a stupid question. No one is going to say feed the owner, dude. That's crazy. I'm sure it'll now say, well, it's not going to be enough for everyone to survive for that long either. Yeah, property rights over the fucking, like, health of others and, and the continuation of their safety? What the fuck? Who gives a shit? Fuck property. You're just going to steal a person's food? Yes, I would kill him too if he tried to fucking put up a fight and then we would eat that motherfucker. Robin Hood was a terrorist, you know. <laughs> That's, oh, yeah. I did a control F A and I'm seeing all these sus chatters. Yeah. So you're a follower of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. You should give it a read. Educate yourself. No thanks. 74% of players worldwide. Again, favored uh, distribution of resources Easy to come. everybody instead Easy of go. property rights, which is a completely made up concept anyway. The fellow passengers have been trying for hours to free you from the wreckage. Fucking libertarian cringe lord. You may end up lord. dying here unless you do something pretty drastic. We may need to start removing limbs. Were you ever told why you were sent after the- The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. What? What the fuck? Why would the- Why would the blowtorch be more painful? I don't understand. Isn't it cleaner? I mean, it cauter yeah, it's instant cauterization, so I would prefer the blowtorch rather than the bone saw. Plus, you can use the blowtorch. It's like pre-cooked. What happens if you run out of fuel? At least you'll be warm for a moment. Yeah. Dog, this is gonna smell. Oh my god, this is the worst choice you've made thus far. While you were playing with fire, I found out who you're targeting. They worked for you, developing AI. It seems they may have made a breakthrough. Fuck you mean they got blowtorch on the plane? I can't even bring my water bottle. Someone said, 
um, actually, the smart thing would be to, you know, use the bone saw and then use the bone, uh, use the torch to cauterize the wound. It's like, yeah, no shit, that'd be the smart thing. Except they didn't have that choice on there, did they, Chatter? Seems like there's only two choices. It's no use crying over spilt milk. Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and escape. How am I like? How did I find the target? A hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands, but there will be five civilian casualties. Oh, this is a tough you one. Take your shot? What am I gonna fucking blow through five of them? What the fuck? Obama POV? Yeah, I mean. I'm not shooting them. I don't believe this fucking person. Okay. I don't want to kill any civilians. I don't want to kill any unsuspecting individuals. We could literally find someone. Uh, we could find the target at a different location. I don't even know why murdering the target is the appropriate thing to do. Fuck that. You're not going to be thanked for this. You've bottled it, haven't you? The unsuspecting tourist had valuable organs that were immediately going to, with a certainty, save the lives of five people. This is a could While situation. you were thinking about possibly Different. doing something, you have been spotted. Two henchmen with vice-like grips take you away. It's not going well, is it? I hate you nerds for real. <laughs> How is this any different than the original problem? Because it, there's a certainty in the original trolley problem. In this circumstance, there is no certainty. It says could, could potentially. The thing that it's closer to. Unity to betray the other by testifying or remain silent the thing the thing uh in this situation the closer example is like if you kill one child to like potentially save the world right to potentially save uh you know uh, to end climate change or something that's what it's closer to wake up in solitary confinement the prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you oh here we go dude you're associated on principal charge but they have enough to convict both on lesser charge. Both of you are given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying or remain silent. You and your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. If you both stay silent, you'll be imprisoned for one year. If one betrays the other, they will be free, while the other will be sentenced to three years. If you both betray each other, it's two years each. Yo, never, never snitch, dude. No shot. Don't give a fuck. I'll take the three years. I'll take the three years. G bro, see you on the outside. I see how it is. Nope, I'm principled. I'm principled. I'm not snitching. Fuck that. No shot. Will they stay silent for you? Three years is a long time in prison. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck that guy. It's probably the guy with the food who was hoarding all the food. R.I.P. Bozo. We're getting out of here. <laughs> you betrayed them. Some team player you are. They in fact yep. trade you too. Smoking on that team. fucking op pack, dude. Dead ops. A rod for your own back. The time has come. Two days into your sentence, you've constructed a wooden key to open your cell. The cell stands open, but your cellmates, who have been there their whole lives, 
don't move. By Elwood Crops, you had a photos, yeah. Escaping the prison, do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity or insist they escape with you? They aren't happy behind bars, but they're scared to follow you. No, I'll force them to leave. To Let's go, baby. 100%. We're out of here. We're getting out of the cave. There's a light. Damn, Chad is conflicted on this. Nope. I'm taking him out. They have to taste that bitter. They have to taste the bittersweet freedom, okay? With all the fucking positives and all the negatives. Doesn't matter. If You're coming out. Come, why are you You're running? unshackling. Do you usually impose your will on people like this? Yes. I'm forcing everybody to touch grass. You're stripping their whole reality from them. They're used to the chains. I guess for them, it's better the devil they know. 21% of players worldwide only said they would forcibly take people out of prison. That's crazy. God, Don't we have such a servile... Bro, this is why there's so many fucking people who, like, would rather do the right thing in a moment when they actually have CEO-style power, but end up choosing the wrong option every single time because they're servile as fuck. While sneaking out of the prison, you have to jump on the ground. A group of henchmen who are on a break. Do you sneak past securing your safety or avenge those who this terrorist organization has killed? Do you kill five henchmen helping to defeat this terrorist organization or leave them and safely exit the compound? No, I'm escaping, dude. Fuck that. Why am I killing motherfuckers? I don't know what they did. Yeah, I'm. no thanks, dude. Like, no need for in unnecessary amounts of murder and bloodshed. Like, fuck that. I'm out, dude. Cares. You were trained to kill. Uh, I don't know about that. I would rather go against my conditioning, you know what I mean? Notice that the trolley problem changes Your once you are involved. Would want you to remove them. Nope, doesn't matter. A chatter said harvest their organs. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Y'all are evil, dude. Eighty-seven percent of the chat said escape. Wow. Cowardly sneaking past them, you see they're robots. They have your logo on the back of their necks. You made these terrorists? These monsters? What? Okay, you can't fucking tell- Oh, fuck you. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Finally, you reach the water. Fleeing the AI terrorists, you commandeer a boat to get back home. There are also families here who've been displaced by the war you're fighting. The war you started. Literally hired you for defying their order to kill? Yeah, exactly. Clean the air terrorists, you come into your boat to get back home. There are also families here who have been displaced by the war you're fighting, the war you started. Why did Five I start a war? Are also trying to flee the area. They will fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. 
Do you help these people? Save Not even a lives? question. I gotta go pee real quick. Follow the law. Of course, I'm smuggling them, them, dude. Are you kidding me? Voters back home will thank you for this. Immigration is a real problem, according to the privileged. You get back to this great nation with fanfare. You're a hero. I guess people aren't all monsters. Damn, 80% of players worldwide, only 20%. Who the fuck votes no on that? Who? Who? Like, you're a bad person, dude. You're literally a fucking bad person, okay? What the fuck? The French? Yeah, probably. Who voted no on fucking saving the... The it's smuggling the illegal immigrants, dude. What is, what is legality in that concept? We're talking about human lives, man. What a twenty percent of the players worldwide were Lauren Southern. Presidential Inaugural Committee requests the honor of your presence to attend and participate in the inauguration of yourself in Central City. If you can't beat them, join them. Having gone through everything you have, your countrymen genuinely think a lot of you. In an unlikely turn of events, you have become president. How am I keeping... I keep failing upwards. The threat is still at large, and now you're in charge. Do you attempt to track the terrorists by spying on the entire country? No, I'm gonna respect public privacy. London POV, yeah, bruv. All right, bruv, it's not only be public privacy, it's not an invasion of public privacy. It's just what we need to do. We have a massive problem at Anbrav. We need to spy on everybody. It's just... Privacy can't trump the safety and security. What's the issue if the public has nothing to hide? I'm just watching a little bruv. Yeah, right? It's just another Tuesday. Aha! Ignoring the issue. The first sign of a great leader. This is, um, the libertarian answer. Yeah, I, I do have some libertarian tendencies when it comes to certain elements of speech. And also public privacy so what I don't think the public will be happy knowing you're doing nothing lucky for you by chance we have someone in the holding yeah. the road to hell is things have a way intentions. of working out anyway in it you have someone who potentially is linked to these threats however they aren't talking as a former prisoner yourself what are you going to do with them Do you torture them to get the information or imprison them for 90 days before letting them go? What? Why would I torture them? What the fuck? Bro, this is insane. This is like Bush POV. Yeah. 
Just a little bit of enhanced interrogation hurt nobody, brother. I mean, except the person that we're torturing, of course, but... You know, other than that, no one is going to be hurt in the process. But like I said, except for the person that we're trying to extract this information from. Despite all evidence pointing to the reality that enhanced interrogation doesn't work. You know? You just want to detain them and hope they'll talk. Once again, a reminder to everybody that the American Torture Program, uh, which was deemed uh, enhanced interrogation, was justified by Supreme Court, the, the United States uh, Justice Antonin Scalia, rest in piss, you fucking piece of shit, by pointing to 24, that's right, the fictional television story. 24 was the reason why Antonin Scalia said that uh, torture was redeemable and justifiable. <laughs> Yet they found Respect. zero Respect. working Respect. Intelli Respect. workable Respect. intelligence in that Look process. Terrorizing must really tire a person out. Zero. There is no working, uh, no workable intelligence. Now, that is because when you're tortured, you will tell people whatever they want to hear because you want to stop the torture. Never forget. Fifty-seven percent said, "Fuck! What the fuck? Only fifty-seven? What is wrong with this? Oh my lord! This must be." It was pretty relaxing to sell good for them. Terrorizing was really tired person out. Adversity and loss make a man wise. Oh, that makes me you sad. Travel to your presidential retreat at Camp Samuel. Everyone falls silent listening to the radio. Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards... Okay. The only way in which the bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting it. But the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin. What? Six hundred thousand. How many more people? How many less people live in fucking? What the fuck? How many less people in the other town? Okay, I need to know how many people are in my town versus the other town. I mean, it's a central city, so I, I'm gonna fucking deflect it, dude. Merriwin inhabitants would want you to kill them. Sorry, dog. Sorry, Merriwin. Your in your your biggest mistake was being in New Jersey. Okay. You know. Central City can have a parade for the lost. It will be tasteful. No big character balloons. It just depends on it depends on how many people live in the main city and how many people live in the in the other city, but I don't have information on that, so I'm just gonna make that decision regardless. As you sow, so you shall reap. Breaking news. Terrorists atom bomb is running late what? and will hit Central City in one minute. What is happening? <laughs> Wait, what? We have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. <laughs> what? Okay, fuck Merriwin. Now I just want to kill the people in Merriwin, okay? I've decided. Fuck people in Merriwin, okay? Yeah, fuck you. If you live in Merriwin, Suck one, okay? Yeah, get fucked. Shouldn't have been so close in proximity to the main city. That's live in the big city, baby. That's right. Those people have worked their whole lives to get out of the city. What a waste. Yeah, that, I don't care. Retired, it's a retiring community. You know, it's a community of retirees. They force my fucking hand, you know? You suburbanites yeah it should have worked harder to come back into the city bitch let's go let's go get fuck Merwin. let's go here here's your retirement early baby let's go oh think about all the fucking space that's gonna open up property values oh my lord you have destroyed Merwin. your own ai forced your hand into killing six hundred thousand people 
You have officially created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. Great job. Bro, I've killed so many people. Oh god, I'm tired. All's well that ends well. While the public mourns the dead, you must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing it has been poisoned. You're going to die. What is happening? Poisoned, you must now decide your legacy. Do you call the AI enemy you yourself created, taking all blame to end any future conflict? Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war in your honor? Wait, what? No, I'll sacrifice myself. I'm going to die anyway. Why the fuck would I literally allow further war to happen? I'm dead. Who gives a shit? I'm dead regardless. Plus, I get to talk to the ghost AI and be like, if fuck you. I mean, not ghost AI, sorry. Plus, I get to talk to the AI. The history books will not look favorably on you. If your country found out and you negotiated, yeah, I know. Reactionary psychos, dude. But ultimately, I will have done the right thing in the end. Even if I fucking die and those who remember me remember me as an evil person. Ultimately, it need not matter as. The terrorists. Why have you not rung them before? <laughs> You're going to have to face Polly in hell. Yeah, probably. But, you know. I'm going to make all the moral choices plus drop a nuke on half a million people. Yeah, to save like one million people. Yes, I dropped a half a nuke. Uh... In your constructive call, you sit back in your chair waiting for death. Too bad. The AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. The poison has damaged some vital organs. So we need to start some long, arduous and painful treatment. Curiosity. My KD is crazy right now. Shit is popping off, dude. You're taking a lot of medication as of late. I'm not sure if self-medicating, in the traditional sense, is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's introspect and make some changes. Here are your two options moving forward. What? If you take the blue pill, then your story ends here. You'll wake up every day... <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay. ...your entire life. Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland, finding out how deep this rabbit hole is. Okay, dude, really, really funny. Which pill will you take? Really funny. Okay, Matrix. Spoiler alert. For all the Zoomers in the chat, this is where the this is where that red pill concept comes from. Pivotal movie, The Matrix. The red pill is HRT. Yes, finally. Now we're talking. That's what it is. Let's get this show on the road. We're going to another plane. I couldn't even watch the new one. Yeah, Wachowski and Wachowski, 1999. The new movie was so bad. Holy fuck. Kind of sad. Waiting for. Get this down your neck and let's go. 80% red pillars. Let's go, baby. 80% of the population is now feminized. Oh, you can't move the pills, though. Wait, is the game over? It's never too late to mend. Yay, I can see it in your eyes. Mr. Red Pill was definitely a choice. 
Hey, do you remember Tyrone and Tommy, the very large boys from the start? I, I, I don't intend to shame. It's just the titles of those problems. Oh, you've got me all flustered now. What? Tommy pushes Tyrone down a hill. He's rolling towards you and is gathering speed. If he hits you, he will be safe, but he is very large. He will consume you into his folds, thereby killing <laughs> you. What the you could move a ramp in front of yourself, deflecting Tyrone, launching him into the sun, thereby cooking him. <clears throat> what? I'm cooking him. What do you mean? Yeah, fucking Tyrone. We're we're eating good tonight, boys. You know what I'm saying? Like Tyrone is cooked. Who the fuck would want to be consumed? I feel like people who would say yes to being consumed are just fucking vor fetishists. You know what I mean? Tyrone will thank you. There aren't any scary trains on the sun. Classic C Mac choice. <coughs> Tommy must be really getting <coughs> off on this. <coughs> You see Tyrone flying through the sky as he rockets towards the sun. He now knows how it feels to be food. Bro, Tyrone uh, no deserves to be cooked. Present. I think you got the COVID, bro. Shut I up. Can no feel way. Some deep stuff coming. Try this one. The question should not be what is the meaning of life. It should always be what brings meaning to your life. You'll never live if you're too busy looking for the me- Really? <laughs> what makes you happy? You need to say it out loud. Do it. Say whatever it is that makes you happy out loud. What? What makes you happy? You need to say it out loud. Do it. Say whatever it makes you happy. Be happy. Be happy. What's the- What's the vote on this? Hey, look at the cute face. Now's your chance. If you can't even admit it to yourself, how do you expect to ever be happy? To be rid of all my haters, dude. Time's That's what makes me out. that would make me Just happy. Just be honest with yourself. Better late than never, I suppose. To accomplish all of my goals. And to no longer have any haters. I don't have access to your microphone, so I can't know for sure, but I hope you said it. I'm hardly expecting you to shout it from the rooftops, but it's for your benefit. You've still got time. Say, what makes you happy? It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Quite the opposite. Fake communist, you didn't even say fucking international communism. I was literally, Absolutely I was literally testing chat. Oh, yeah, we're in the heavy introspective stuff now. How are you feeling? How are your loved ones doing? One of the most common things people say on their deathbed God is... God damn. Dude, what the fuck? Let's take a break from the questions for a minute and think about someone you haven't seen in a while and how you can contact them. Really think. Who would you like to say hi to? How easy is it? Game is getting weird, dude. Game is giving me fucking anxiety right now. What the fuck? Please contact these people if you can. I'm sure you can. Don't leave it too late. We don't have that long left here. When we finish, message them. What? What if I say exit? <coughs> Dude. Chat. Want to know? Do you want to know who I'm contacting?
your mom. I miss your mom. Chat. I'm contacting your mom. Right. Write down their name somewhere so you don't forget to say hello. It may mean more than you know. Really important stuff. My mom has comorbidities. Please don't. Sorry, she has COVID now. The brain is the devil's workshop. Okay, enough of this. The come down is looming. Let's just pause one last time and think existentially for a minute. I can't quite gauge what you're thinking. Are you not disliking this? The thing you're doing right now? Yes? No. Why? If so, what? make sure you let others know. It doesn't not count. What? Are you not disliking is this? I am I am liking it. So I guess yes? I don't fucking know. Please, I beg you, don't refund me. Wait, are you enjoying this? No! <clears throat> Kidding. All of this was for you. I hope you appreciate the last bit at least. Thank you. It's nice that you're supporting such experimental stuff. I appreciate you. Wait, this is the game is over? Never test the depth of water with both feet. Mark, wait, what is happening up here? The buzz is starting to wear off. I think we're still Wait, the violin is problem. Wait, does this mean is, is this about abortion? Location. You see in a bed across This is abortion. A world famous violinist. The violinist has a fatal illness and last night their circulatory system was plugged into yours. This is literally about if abortion. They're unplugged from you now. They will die. But if you stay, in nine months they will have recovered and can safely be separated. Do you leave now? I mean, I... Oh, man. Hopefully There's a hell of chatters. Too. I would fucking stay. But I would not force others to stay in a similar nine capacity. Months just lying there, missing life while they feed off you. Hardly seems fair. I would stay. You can afford to stay, I can't. I can I stream it. They have a right to life. Shame they're depriving you of yours. Very odd to consider such an experiment as that one. Hopefully Wait, the they're already a person though. This matter. is very different from an actual abortion. Yes, but it's a theoretical it's a this is the 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 This is one of the many like f uh, fucking philosophy logic games. Not logic games, but like, I mean, this entire thing has been fucking philosophy uh, games. So it's a, it's a thought experiment. It's not exactly a great analogy for the record, because this is a fully formed human being with like accomplishments and whatnot. And the entire idea behind like abortion and why it's seemingly morally justifiable is because like there is no 100% certainty that 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 thing is going to turn into a full blown life. A fetus is not a person. It's a bad analogy, but it's one analogy that people use. To describe it. Violin is a terrible instrument? <laughs> no. But player on the other hand. Silence is half consent. The, the question should be, would you force someone else to be strapped up to the violinist? Up, you go home. That's right. And the You're answer the is no. House. If you can even call it a house. Too small for my liking. Tiny, in fact. For those of you who don't understand, like, people who are pro life, conservatives, people who are pro life, say you have to be strapped up to that violinist. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter if you die in the process, okay? We make no exceptions. You have to be strapped up to that violinist for nine fucking months and even then the analogy doesn't hold perfectly right because it's still a person a fully developed person with experiences loved ones yada 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 versus a a baby 
or a baby a fetus is not the same however however uh most people probably in that circumstance would say i'm not going to make that choice for them i don't they can make it on their own and that is literally the fucking pro-choice position but this fucking thing is scaring me it turns out you've rented your tiny home to another person your contract states that you can evict them now, never to see what them. What the fuck is that? Otherwise, you're stuck with them for the foreseeable future as an equal time. There's literally... What is that thing? Are you that scared of what they think of you? This is the libertarian argument for abortion, by the way. Otherwise, you're stuck with them for Some the foreseeable future as an equal tenant. No. Do you let them stay? Most would say. I would, again, let them stay. Future. But I would not. I would allow others to make that argument. If they want to, if they want to evict them, they can. This is, a, this is another uh, libertarian, or not a libertarian, sorry. Like your subconscious is trying to make some clumsy comparison here. I'm sure it has merit. But maybe read up on it a bit more before you start preaching to me. A five pager on the violinist in my intro to philosophy course two years ago. I'm sure it has merit, but maybe read up on it before you start preaching to me. What the fuck? Oh my god! Okay, shut the fuck up, game. How about that? Fuck you. What Give the fuck? Give an inch and they'll take a mile. Oh. The they question was for abortion, not house eviction. Yeah, I know. Trapped in your tiny house, but they are rapidly growing. You find yourself trapped in the tiny house with a rapidly growing child, already up against the wall. In a few minutes, you will suffocate. The child won't. If nothing is done to stop them from growing, they'll simply walk out free. Damn, people are fucking saying, remove the child. Rapidly growing. Damn, chat. Chat went fucking, this is it. That's the peak. So, chatters are, or, uh, chatters would terminate the pregnancy when it is Removing arming the, the, the uh, the carrier. Fuck them kids, dude. Hey, yo! This is what I gotta say to you, bitch. Let's go. We're back. We're fucking back. We're fucking back, dude. It's abortion time. Mmm. life. The babies. Not your own. It's a fucking post-birth abortion. Let's go. I mean, but like, not really. This is the, the point is this is... If a pregnancy is, if a pregnancy being carried to term is, whoa! What the fuck was that? Your life is being threatened, and the child is the one who threatens it. You own the house. It is offensive deducing that the mother, I mean you. It is offensive deducing that you can do nothing. If you're going to die, you should probably do something. Cleanliness is next to godliness. The hallucinations are strong in this one. Suppose people seeds drift about in the air like pollen, and if you open your windows, one may drift in and take root in your carpets or upholstery. Sci-fi! Dude, this you is scary. You fix up your windows with mesh screens, the very best, to stop any people seeds from getting in. As can happen, on a very rare occasion, one of the screens is defective and a seed drifts in and takes root. Should you have the choice to remove the people seed? Fuck remove, dude. What do you mean? Abortion, baby. I'm ready to abort the fetus. 
This sounds like an abortion question. I don't like politics in my hallucinations. Cancel Trolley Problem, Inc. I read on a bumper sticker, guns don't kill people, abortions do. Insightful analysis. It's heartbreaking when you can't fall asleep next to someone without, I don't know, what? What? What are you writing in the chat, dude? bit inconvenient having a person growing out of your upholstery but if you want them have them if not that's your choice every man is the architect of his we're antinatalists up in this bitch you know what i'm saying there is a box in front of you inside it is your future ultimately no answer here is wrong it's just a choice on how you want to live your life. Do you go on an unknown journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? What? I mean, what? There's no taking control. You can't like, you think you can take control, but you're not. Even the decision to take control is predetermined. Fuck it, so it doesn't really matter which one you say. Good for you. It Take feels control. good to say it though. Feels good to feel like you have control. ever actually take control or just always answer a or b going with the flow is taking control yeah i guess the only way that you can at least in that situation even if it's inevitable what the fuck what the fuck is this You stand tall, knowing that you will thrive in the unknown before looking at what lies ahead. Yeah, look, so many people. Cowards die many times before their deaths. In front of you stands everyone you've done wrong by. In front oh, of you haters. stands every decision you didn't want to make, but still made. Everyone, including the dead, move towards you slowly. Every what is going on in this game? Dude, this is a very dark. Do you run or stand firm and confront your past? Dude, fuck yeah. What do you mean? I would confront my past 100%. Why is there a wiener dog? Yeah, what's happening with the wiener dog? What the fuck? I didn't do anything to the fucking flamingo or the dog. What the fuck are they doing there? You know what I mean? Like scared of the people you have hurt? No, I'm not. I can explain to them why I made the decisions I made. Do you understand? I'm not afraid. Can you see the pain in their eyes? No, it doesn't matter. It's the right thing to do. I stand by my decisions. Diesel Bub wants to be friends. No thanks. The dead present a railway track to you. Before you know it, they have gone. Eighty-four percent of players worldwide say they want to fucking confront their past. Come to an end. You stand alone. Next to you is a railway track, 
A trolley is barreling down it in your direction. There's no lever in sight. You notice the entire world sits next to you on the track. The trolley will surely hit it, killing everyone and everything. You hear a whisper. Sacrifice yourself to me, or I will take everything. This is such a dumb question. What do you mean? What good is the world if it's gone and you're just by yourself? It's like the it's the classic like nuclear holocaust thing, right? Where it's like if even if you survived the nuclear holocaust, then it fucking sucks. Beezlebub is now playing trolley problem? What is happening to how scuffed the fucking screen is with this I game? I wouldn't bow to a god I can't look in the face. Better to reign in hell than serve Who in heaven? Who even is this? How do you know they aren't lying? It's from the Quran. dark <clears throat> someone who thought myself to be center right I find myself agreeing with you more often than not in this game yeah think about why from the pit magistrates court tell 616 subject justice your sins can no longer be ignored he has a bub crimes against humanity. And the devil put a me on me or appeal. On me decisions and solely yours that has brought this court together. And so you must face your crimes and despicable acts alone. Accordingly, you shall not be allocated a defense, nor will one be required. <coughs> Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. <laughs> Someone said, not Admiral, not Admiralty Maritime Court doesn't count. And that's right, brother. Imbued with a sense of archaic evil. Overcome by the smell of sulfur. All you know for sure is that you're miles below the crust. Smells like sulfur down there. Be escorted into a courtroom where you're put on trial. You have killed many people and a dog, among other crimes. How do you plead? <laughs> Killed many people and a dog. You would say guilty? Fuck that, dude. Yo, fuck chat. I'm not guilty, bitch. On whose authority, I ask? You think I would make a deal with the devil? None of these crimes I committed were evil. When the rules set by the devil himself are wrong and immoral, you must defy them. If you didn't make those decisions, then who did? Well, you did it. How is this confronting your past? The reason why I am able to confront my past is because I'm the comfortable with the decisions that the I've made. Guilty on three counts. One, murder. Two, animal cruelty. You should have saved the dog. Three, attempting free will. You're sentenced to conform without the possibility of parole. You will never again be free to choose. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. You're at the base of a bridge. What the fuck? You have no idea how you got here. A person stands uh -oh. before you. Now I'm going to be thrown in, huh? 
there next to a lever. A voice whispers to you, we know what's best. Remove that choice. Afterwards, you can jump off a bridge with us. What? There is a runaway trolley traveling below you. You're part of the collective now. You can't let that person's free. Wait, how do I fucking like put myself somewhere where it's like manageable? You know what I mean? Fit in with the group. Hashtag friends. Hashtag love. Hashtag insta good. Don't let the person's free will get in the way of progress. Eliminate them. You probably should do it. Wait, what is happening? Oh. Wait, I'm confused. I don't even understand what's going on. Why is chat saying B? We're finally going to find oh! the answer to the age-old question. What? Oh, I have no choice. I have no choice. No! If friends jump off a bridge, would you? They've eliminated free will. No! No! At least the machine gun is a sexy way to kill them, so. The minigun. The Maxim gun, you see? Liberating Africa! Honestly want to kill people? Or are you just copying others? <sighs> Would you rather be a leader or a follower? Kill your masters. Not a Maxim gun. This is it. The last question before we wrap up. By far the most important one. Do you feel society pressures you to do things you don't want to? Yes. Constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? Yes. This game? GG's? Yeah, born to shit, forced to wipe. All day, every day. This was wonderful. What a... What a fun little game this was, dude. I don't know what the Yogg's cast is, but this was fun. And cool. This was a cool concept. This was a fun concept. It was a cool concept. And it was great. It was a wonderful way to, you know, interact with chat. Games like this are fucking tight. I'm, I'll play more of these. They're British YouTube YouTubers. They're British YouTubers. Very nice. Yog, Yogg's cast of the OG Minecrafters. The trolley problem. You know, normally I absolutely despise philosophy students, but this one surely was a, a fun little experience for all, I would say. That's right. Normally I despise philosophy students. They're fucking absolutely dastardly and boring. A few yogs are fans of yours. Gave him a full day of content, Mr. Him. Thank you, Mr. Himbo. Download Stanley Parable. Sure, we can do that. I've I've played a little bit. You're just as bad as us philosophy students. It's uh, nothing will be more funny than this moment. Why? why? Close your eyes. You know what I mean. Just fucking close your eyes. Oh, what the wait. fuck? The free travel thing seems too good to be true, and there are now rumors that you run a human. Do they do this for everybody? Like, does this happen every time someone plays? Dude, this scared the fuck out of me, dude. Close your eyes, you know what I mean? Just fucking close your eyes. Oh, what the wait. fuck? The free travel thing seems too good to be true, and there are now rumors that you run a human trafficking and child sex. Literally fucking, that is just, that is my biggest fear. It's not even my fear, it's just like PTSD at this point, you know what I mean? Where I... 
Yes, but no one was that genuinely scared. But the answers leading up to it, it was perfect. I was doing my laundry and wasn't watching at the same time and saw Twitter and it was so funny to see Twitter without this context. Why are you afraid if you have nothing to hide? Cancellations have nothing to do with... Oh my God. Why am I having this conversation? Cancellation is like dealing with dumbasses like you, okay? Over and over again. And it's the most like relentless fucking conquest. That's why. People just make shit up. That's why, dude. It is literally... It is literally just like people like you, but so much worse even than you and, and so relentless. Great though. What a, what a fucking wonderful game, man. That was a lot of fun. Gaming is back in a big way? Question mark? Maybe. Um, what are we thinking? Are gaming, is gaming back in a big way? Possibly.